others to their best possible selves and elevating the performance of our teams. We're reminded that mindfulness, vulnerability, compassion, inclusion, and open-mindedness are also crucial. You competed to get here, you competed all the way through, and you can compete because we fight to win. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2017 Jacks Valley Opening Ceremony. You are all smart! You are all smart! You are all smart! 
the diversity, the power of the 4,000 of you and all of the people that are on the staff tower and lining the glass, the power of us as a diverse group, the power that we come from all walks of life, that we come from all parts of this country, that we come from all races, we come from all backgrounds, gender, all makeup, all upbringing, the power of that diversity comes together and makes us that much more powerful. States Air Force Academy, but we're also the United States Space Forces Academy, and you are the people that are going to lead the way. I am an American Airman. I'm a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I'm an American Airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. Certainly unprecedented the academy, unprecedented what our nation is uh, is going through right now. And uh, we're certainly going to get through this, but we're going to get through this working together. Well, guests and faculty, it's almost time to launch the biggest change to learning at USAFA since we moved into Fairchild Hall from Lowry Field over 60 years ago. Our community and our USAFA family will long remember how we handled this crisis. So I just kind of want to give you a little glimpse on what it's like to be a cadet at home now. Coming home and trying to do virtual classes, one of the challenges that we face is that we now have responsibilities to help out with our family during quarantine. And yes, before so many comments, I know my hair is out of rags. With all these closures and everything, I haven't been able to go get a haircut, so I've been trying to maintain it. Teams is good for not only virtually doing classes, but also talking with your friends. <laughs> I'm excited to go back whenever they let us and whatever that's gonna look like. It's gonna look a lot different, but, but I can be more ready to go start my senior year um, and finally graduate. Honestly, who's to say what this new school year is gonna look like? I'm interested to see what they have planned for us. Um, and I'm excited to start my senior year soon. You're going to have to solve problems that you don't even know about yet. So that our, our country has no ideas the kind of problems that you're going to have to deal with. And being agile, being bold, being creative and innovative, that's what's going to get it for us. We compete every single day here at the United States Air Force Academy. We compete to be the best we can be individually. We, can be, we compete to be the best we can be for our teams. And so today, you get an opportunity to come out here and show us what you're made of. So look to your left. Look to your right. That's who you're competing for. That young man or woman standing right next to you. Don't ever forget that. It's all about your teammates. Class of 2021, you are...
retired Brigadier General James Robinson Robbie Reisner. Born in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas in 1925, Reisner joined the Army Air Forces in 1943 as an aviation cadet and earned his wings in 1944. Recalled to active duty during the Korean War, Reisner flew 108 missions and scored eight kills against enemy aircraft, becoming the 20th jet ace in history. In 1964, now Lieutenant Colonel Reisner took command of the 67th Tactical Fighter Squadron, now flying the famed F-105 Thunder Chief. Part of the opening strikes of Operation Rolling Thunder, Reisner led missions across the combat zone, often returning with a battle-damaged aircraft and even ejecting into the Gulf of Tonkin on one occasion. His achievements and heroism earned him the Air Force Cross. On his second tour of duty in the skies over Vietnam, Lieutenant Colonel Reisner's aircraft was hit by ground fire at low altitude, forcing him to eject into enemy territory. He was captured and imprisoned at the famed Hanoi Hilton POW camp. Placed in solitary confinement and tortured for years, Reisner's optimism and faith were a beacon of hope to his fellow prisoners. After seven years, four months, and 27 days, he was finally released. After his return to the U.S., Reisner continued his Air Force career until his retirement at the rank of Brigadier General in 1976. He is one of only four airmen to be awarded the Air Force Cross multiple times, an award that is second only to the Medal of Honor. A statue of Reisner stands nine feet tall over the air gardens. While a prisoner of war, Reisner stated that the sound of his comrades singing God Bless America and the Star Spangled Banner made him feel like he was nine feet tall and could go bear hunting with a switch. The selfless service and dedication of Brigadier General Reisner serves as an example to all Air Force officers.
Texas and Jones, I'm going to go wide. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, at this, at this time, 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 Please take your seats and direct your attention to the east stands of the stadium as we extend a welcome to our representatives of the Dean of Faculty, Cadet Wing, and Director of Athletics Mission Elements of the United States Air Force Academy. Carrying Yusafa's academic mace is Brigadier General Linnell Latundra, Dean of the Faculty, followed by a representative group of faculty, commanders, and coaches. A cadet's academic career begins with a convocation in which faculty carrying the academic mace process in to signify the start of academics. The mace symbolizes the university's governing authority and the power to grant degrees. The tradition derives from medieval times in Europe, and today's implement is a combination of a royal scepter and the battle mace. As an ancient symbol of authority, it reminds us that universities are custodians of the enduring traditions of learning and of the power they bestow upon those who come to learn. The mace is again carried in today's processional to signify the culmination of the cadet's academic program. Just as the traditions of military pageantry honor the service of members of the armed forces, the academic procession honors academic achievement and reflects centuries of university history. Within this processional are permanent professors appointed by Congress, military faculty, and civilian faculty. Military faculty bring Air Force and Space Force experience to the classroom and have earned a master's degree or doctorate. Civilian faculty 
wear their traditional academic regalia, prescribed by the degrees they hold. Each element identifies the highest degree earned, master's or doctor, as well as the degree granting institution and field of study. Additionally, Air Officers Commanding and representatives of the Cadet Wing Mission Element are in the procession. Air Officers Commanding, or AOCs, command the 40 squadrons that make up the Cadet Wing. These commanders are selected through a highly competitive process. They are comprised of pilots, navigators, space operators, engineers, intelligence officers, logistics officers, cyber officers, maintainers, special agents, and many other career fields across the Department of the Air Force. Our processional also includes representatives of the Directorate of Athletics, which is comprised of coaches and staff who train intercollegiate, intramural, and club teams, as well as teach a robust variety of physical education courses. We are proud of our outstanding faculty, coaches, and air officers commanding, representatives of whom appear on the stadium floor today to honor the class of 2021. Please join us in recognizing them. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Acting Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable John P. Roth, the Chief of Space Operations, General John J. Raymond, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Charles Q. Brown, Jr., and the Superintendent of the United States Air Force Academy, Lieutenant General Richard M. Clark.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark A. Milley. Present Harms. Order, Harms. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the graduating class of 2021.
graduates. Halt. Left. Haste. Wing. Present. Harms. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and the invocation. Order, harms, Addies. Ladies and gentlemen, Chaplain Colonel Julian C. Gaither, United States Air Force Academy, Command Chaplain. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the quiet of this stadium, transformed to match this moment, we gather. Thank God we can gather. Air Force, Space Force, senior leaders, faculty, family, and especially our graduates to honor you and to celebrate the accomplishments of a four year long journey. We hear the words of President John F. Kennedy saying leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. These cadets' hard work and steady determination have brought them to this important personal and professional milestone. These graduates embody our core values. May their efforts serve as an inspiration for us all to continue to strive for honor and excellence in all we do. Remind us, O oh God, that education is not an end into itself, but that knowledge and the skills gained are for our greater good. Cadets, in a few minutes, you will no longer be firsties. You will be graduates of the United States Air Force Academy and second lieutenants in the Air and Space Forces. And seated around this stadium and viewing via live stream, are your parents, family, friends, and teachers that have molded and infused you with the strength to fly. Now, as you complete this chapter of your life, remember that it is only a chapter. Be strong, for there is greatness ahead. Someone may ask, where do I find strength? How do I go forward? In fact, if we're honest, some are uncertain of what's next. I am yet reminded of geese as they fly a long journey. They take off scattered, like basic cadet training in 2017. But once airborne, they get into formation. They fly with courage, and they never leave one of their own behind despite the diverse adversity. The flight won't always be easy. That is when you hear the honking, the encouragement from your flock. When the flight gets turbulent, you may hear the honking from your parents, your family. When the flight gets tiring, you may hear the honking from your classmates. When you feel like stopping, you may hear the honking from your God your spiritual foundation. I believe your God has and will provide everything you need for the journey ahead. So all of us gathered here today, honk 
encouragement to the class of 2021's next journey as airmen and guardians. Don't be afraid, only be strong and courageous. No doubt, no fear, we pray in your holy name, amen. Honk, honk, class of 2021, go Falcons! Graduates, take seats. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Richard M. Clark. Superintendent of the United States Air Force Academy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, proud parents, families, friends, and most importantly, the United States Air Force Academy graduating class of 2021. Now to explain what these graduates are shouting for their class exemplar, they have chosen to honor Brigadier General Robinson Reisner, one of the most decorated pilots of the Korean and Vietnam Wars. After being shot down in 1965, General Reisner would endure seven and a half years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. And throughout this time, he led with acts of resistance and defiance against his captors. On one occasion, he was being taken away to solitary confinement as punishment for his rebellion. And his fellow POWs spontaneously broke out in singing the Star Spangled Banner to support him. General Reisner later said that in that moment, he felt like he was nine feet tall and could go bear hunting with a switch. Honoring those words, a nine foot tall statue of General Reisner stands on our campus as a reminder to our cadets of his leadership, his sacrifice, and his selfless service to his fellow airmen. As Isaac Newton once said, if we have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. This class has rightly chosen an Air Force giant to emulate. And so today, wherever you hear the words, class of 2021, the class will respond in honor of their exemplar by saying, rise. This should be an inspiration to all of us because during this unusual and challenging year, people across our nation and around the world have risen to the occasion to overcome the challenges of the global pandemic. The fact that we are able to come together today in Falcon Stadium, even with some limitations and restrictions, is a testament to the tireless dedication, the courage, and the expertise of our medical professionals, researchers, first responders, and everyone who has been on the front lines battling the COVID-19 pandemic. I think we owe them all a debt of gratitude and a round of applause. Right here at our academy, we have put the amazing brain power of our faculty, staff, and medics to work on overcoming one of the most difficult challenges in our history, and the results have been astounding. I am exceedingly proud of Team Yusafa and how our entire community has responded, but most of all, I am proud of our cadets and how they were able to rise to the occasion. I have been amazed every day by the spirit and the grit I have witnessed in our cadet wing. Attending the United States Air Force Academy is not an easy path. It wasn't back when I attended, and it certainly isn't now. But the past year has been arguably the most trying time in our history. 
and this class has shown that they were more than equal to the task. They haven't just persevered, they have excelled by rising up and leading our cadet wing and helping to ensure our mission success. They have shown that they are exactly the kind of officers we need to elevate America's standing, enhance our capability in the face of great power competition, and rise up against any challenge that confronts them. The success of this class would not have been possible without the steadfast support we have received from our leadership and our services. Having the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff here today as our commencement speaker is an incredible honor and is a, a perfect example of that support. General Milley, thank you for joining us today, sir. We are grateful for your support and honored by your presence. I also want to thank, oh, that's all right, go ahead. Let's give it up for him. We are also grateful for the support and honored by the presence of the Acting Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable John P. Roth, the first Chief of Space. Okay, we'll do that. Yes. <laughs> The first Chief of Space Operations for the United States Space Force, General John W. Raymond. Our 22nd Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Charles Q. Brown, Jr. The Lieutenant Governor of Colorado, the Honorable Diane Primavera. and the Mayor of Colorado Springs, the Honorable John Southers. And we are particularly grateful for all of these great leaders to bring their great leaders, their spouses. Thank you all. To all of our other senior leaders and elected officials joining us today, welcome and thank you all for what you do to enhance our mission. To our parents, families, friends, and loved ones, your lifelong investment shaped these graduates into the promising and ambitious young leaders that arrived on our campus just a few short years ago. Their transformation here is a result of the path you have guided and supported them on over the course of their lives, and you will continue to be critical to their success as they begin their journeys as officers. Thank you, being, thank you for being a part of this growing family. To the long blue line of USAF alumni, our supporting nonprofits, our local leaders and community partners, and everyone here today or watching at home, thank you for the unwavering commitment you have shown in these unprecedented times. We also owe a debt of gratitude to our faculty, our AOCs, our AMTs, our coaches, our staff members who impacted these cadets' lives over the past four years and helped develop them into the leaders they are today. Ready to cross this stage into the Air Force and Space Force, we have an incredible team, and I want to personally thank all who have gone above and beyond to ensure that these warriors got this important milestone here today. Team Yusafa, you made this happen. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, to our graduates. This is a day that each of you, the 1,019 amazing leaders of our Academy's 63rd graduating class, will remember for the rest of your lives. The day that you officially join the long blue line. In the near future, you will undoubtedly face great challenges, but you have shown us that you are ready to rise above the adversity. And we are counting on each of you to accelerate the change that we need to win. Over the past four years, you've been engaged in one of the most challenging programs of training education in the world. You've learned more and grown more in this time than you probably realize. But if you only take one thing away from the countless hours of hard work, sweat, and tears that have gone into your academy experience, make it this. Strive to live your lives as leaders of character. And remember that it is a journey and not a destination. As with any journey, there are guideposts to help you on your way. And your academy experience has given you three markers 
that will guide you to success. First, a leader of character is someone who lives honorably, embodying our core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. This is a rock solid foundation you can build your career on and you've already started the construction. Next, we must lift others to be their best possible selves. Be leaders who help their wingmen by recognizing and lifting their strengths, talents, and aspirations. You must always value human dignity and respect the inherent value of every person you meet. Lifting one another will enable you and your teams to rise to unimaginable heights. And finally, elevate performance towards a common and noble purpose. Always rise above the minimum standard and focus on the common good instead of self-interest. Leaders of character constantly strive to get better and to seek improvement. Even under the incredibly difficult circumstances of this year, your class has only gotten better and you're just getting started and don't ever stop. If you continue to follow these guideposts on your journey as leaders of character, live honorably, lift others, and elevate performance, your potential will be limit limitless and you will rise higher than you could ever imagine. I'm so very proud of you and it has been my greatest honor to serve as your superintendent. On behalf of our entire academy community, congratulations to you, the class of 2021. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce one of USAPA's most dedicated wingmen, the Acting Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable John P. Roth. Sir, we are proud to welcome you and honored to have you here to celebrate these amazing men and women. Thank, thank you, General Clark, uh, for, for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Team USAFA, faculty, staff, alumni, and community leaders, it's a tremendous honor for me to join you today as we celebrate our newest second lieutenants. I am especially thankful to share this celebration with the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, the 22nd Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General C.Q. Brown, and the first Chief of Space Operations, General J. Raymond. To the Cadet Support Network, family, friends, loved ones, I want to extend my utmost gratitude for the strength and encouragement you provided. You too have much to be proud of and much to celebrate. And of course, to the class of 2021, we are especially grateful to you. As noted, you endured a plethora of challenges during these past four years none more unpredictable than a global pandemic. Your bold, adaptive leadership approach to COVID kept the cadet wing safe, which makes today even more special with what you have accomplished. Graduates, I'm told you have broken the record for the longest time as a senior class. So with that in mind, I'm gonna keep this short and brief. In a few minutes, you will step off this field as newly minted officers in the United States Air and Space Forces. You will join the ranks of nearly 700,000 airmen and guardians as leaders of change. You will guide our services into the future. Before we talk about the future, let's pause for a minute and reflect on moments that shaped our modern day air and space forces. Nearly 80 years ago, the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps was established, creating a pathway then for nearly 150,000 women to serve during World War II 
And now, for the 288 women graduating today. In 1944, the Army Air Force launched Operation Overlord, a massive air assault on Normandy and a turning point that portended the end of World War II. On June 6, 1944, equipment, supplies, and more than 13,000 paratroopers descended from C-47 Goonie Birds above. That day, the concept of rapid, mobile, rapid global mobility was born. And then finally, in May of 1961, 45 million Americans watched Alan Shepard rocket into space aboard Freedom 7, our nation's first human spaceflight. The historic 15-minute suborbital journey not only paved the way for 40 USAFA graduates who went on to become NASA astronauts, but also marked the extension of space as the ultimate high ground. These kind of defining moments in history, inclusivity, air power, and space power, characterize the Department of Air Force today. The Air Force is the only service that can provide our joint partners and allies the assurance of air superiority, the advantage of global strike, and the agility of rapid global mobility. No one else can do that. The Space Force is the only service capable of preserving America's freedom of action in space, enabling joint force lethality and providing independent military options in, from, and to space. Graduates, you are joining the long blue line during an era of transformation. This is your chance to build on a legacy of innovation steeped in heritage. Indeed, key moments in history defined our presence, but we cannot wait for tomorrow to redefine us. An energetic leader with a penchant for curiosity, Jack Welch once said, a leader's job is to look into a future and see the organization not as it is, but as it should be. Class of 2021, you are the leaders we will rely on to look to the future. You will be called on to imagine unthinkable threats, to face untold challenges, and to overcome uncharted adversity. We need leaders with character to stand up for what is right and lead with integrity. We need leaders with talent to outmaneuver outcompete and defeat our adversaries no matter the domain air space cyber whatever and we need leaders with courage to defend our nation uphold our constitutional values and protect our american way of life as i look across this field i know we have the right leaders to carry us into the future. So congratulations, class of 2021. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark A. Milley. As the principal military advisor to the President of the United States and the Secretary of Defense, General Milley works tirelessly to improve joint warfighting readiness and prepare our forces 
for the reemergence of great power competition. During his more than 40 years in uniform, General Milley commanded and served in units at every echelon, from platoon leader to service chief. In his role as Chief of Staff of the Army, he led the Army through significant transformational efforts to include the establishment of the Futures Command, where its core mission is to modernize warfighting concepts and capabilities to dominate a future battlefield. Undeniably, General Milley is no stranger to looking beyond the horizon and into the future, which is why before I exit the stage, I'm going to pause for a second and look forward into the future for a moment and say, Go Air Force, beat Army! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming General Milley to the stage. So I'll go ahead and say it. Go Air Force, beat Army. Go. How about go Air Force, beat Navy? How about go Air Force, beat everybody? Hey, what a great day it is, huh? To be here at 6,600 feet altitude and barely can breathe. It's awesome. I'm just a ground pounder. Hey, look at. Thank you. Uh, for having me out here as the keynote speaker. I appreciate it. It's uh, deeply humbling, and it's an honor and a privilege. You know, I've spent over 40 years now uh, in uniform in peace and war, a lot of different firefights, etc. And I will tell you that I've got a reasonable amount of experience getting shot at. And there is no greater Air Force on Earth than the United States Air Force. It is you, the reason that I am alive. It is you, the reason that so many other United States Army Infantry and Special Forces are alive today. It's because we had pilots of enormous courage who went through thick or thin when we called in close air support and we said, mark my paws, purple smoke, 200 meters due north. And you rolled in. And all we cared about was steel on target. We didn't care about the color of your uniform. We're a joint force, one team, one fight, every day, all day, day and night. And the enemy should never forget it. I want to thank. Uh, Secretary Roth uh, for being here today uh, and, and I appreciate uh, his leadership and also <clears throat> I want to thank the next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's going to be either Brown or Raymond. Take your pick, Space or Air Force. Who are we going to vote for, Brown? <laughs> Raymond? Raymond. The SEAC, Colon Lopez, United States Air Force. Check him out. Bad to the bone. He's got a lot of time on the X as a, as a PJ and one of the bravest, finest soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines that I've ever met in my entire life. So I want to thank all three of those great Air Force leaders uh, and their spouses uh, for being here. Shireen, thank you uh, for your leadership. We couldn't do it without you. I know CQ feels the same way. Uh, CQ told me uh, that he uh, did not play varsity football here, but he did tell me to take a look at this guy right out here. <clears throat> Why don't you take a stand up there, young man? This guy's going to the NFL. Check him out. <clears throat> and Raymond told me he was too scared to play football. I, I don't know. But his wife is here, and she's the one who gives him all the cards, and I want to thank you for being here uh, as well, Molly. 
uh, because I know that Jay couldn't do it without you. And the one guy who did play football right here, right here is Rich Clark. And he was a nose guard in the class of 86. And you have a great superintendent out here. And he's greater still because of his wonders, wonderful wife, Amy. So Amy, uh, like all spouses, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support to Rich over the years. Thank you for supporting this academy. And I also want to thank my spouse, Holly Ann, uh, for being here because I couldn't be here without the Air Force, and I damn sure couldn't be here without her. So thank you, Holly Ann, for representing all our families. And how about everybody? Give a huge round of applause to the class of 21. And for the class of 21, how about get on your feet, do an about face, and give a round of applause to your families, because you wouldn't be here without them. Check it out. Look at all those fathers and mothers, grandparents and aunts and brothers and sisters and wives. None of you could be here today without them. And that second lieutenant's bar is as much owned by them as it is by you. So thank you. Go ahead and grab your seats there, cadets, or this will take three hours. You know, to complete the Air Force Academy takes a tremendous amount of grit. And you've each demonstrated extraordinary hard work and dedication. And some of you have taken a little bit of extra time to get here. In fact, 150 of you have looked forward to this day for five years. So let's hear it for all the five-year grads. And 61 of you came up through the ranks from enlisted to the Air Force Academy. Some of you have completed combat tours, so thank you. Together, you are the 63rd class to graduate from this institution that has produced leaders of character from its very inception. Academy alumni include General officers, prisoners of war, combat aces, medals of honor recipients, and astronauts. But most, the vast majority, have been quiet, unknown heroes who met moments of adversity with calm and clarity in the face of mortal danger. Airmen are going to trust you to be their leader, to guide them through uncertainty and change in the years ahead. Despite the unrelenting obstacles, you have not faltered and you have not failed in your four years here, especially in a very difficult last year. Your class has earned your motto over and over again. Nolite dubitare, nolite temare. And every one of you knows that that means no doubt, no fear. No matter how high the valley, no matter how high the mountain, no matter how strong the tide against you, you all rise together. Your first moments together on the infamous steps, six weeks of beast, the assault course at Jack's Valley, recognition, run to the rock, physics 215, countless formations, early morning GRs and late nights at HAPS. Commitment and the exemplar dinner, the ring dance and the hundreds night, and of course, cheering on your beloved Air Force Falcons as they beat Army and singing the third verse together. 
no matter the outcome of the game. You have learned as a group that you are stronger together. Unbreakable bonds have been forged here. For each and every one of you, the decision to attend this academy was not one that you took lightly. In fact, most of you were only 17 or 18 years old at the time, and it was the biggest decision you'd ever make. And it may, in fact, still be the biggest decision you will ever make. And your commitment is not to a job, but it's to a calling, a way of life. Your parents see their sons and daughters on the field before you, but your nation sees lieutenants, sees airmen, sees, sees space guardians who will lead our Air Force and our Space Force as pilots and navigators, engineers, intelligence officers, special tactics and combat rescue officers, each one critical to the Joint Force mission. All 1,019 of you in both the Air Force and Space Force, and the four that are commissioning into the Navy, the five into the Marine Corps, and the three into the Army. Every one of you have already embraced what it means to be joint, to train as Air Force officers and serve in different branches. You're all part of one united team. And it's truly, for me, profound to see you all here today on your last day as cadets and your first day as lieutenants. And that's because 1,427 days ago, you were all strangers to each other. But today, you cross the finish line together as one. You represent the quality that gives America its unique strength, what makes us undaunted by the difficult and motivated by the so-called impossible. The strength of our nation, this experiment in liberty, is captured in another simple Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, out of the many come one. You, all of you, all of you together are a living example. You are breathing evidence of this motto of our country. Represented in this graduating student body are, in fact, 15 other countries and all 50 of our United States. You bring a rich diversity of culture, perspective, and ideas from every corner of the world. But when I choose the thought and action in your shared desire, your commitment to sacrifice, to serve causes greater than yourselves, each of you embody this institution's core principles of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all you do. And that reminds me, however, that some of your teammates perhaps have made some mistakes. And I am sure you will let them know what I'm about to say for the lower classes. I just got off the phone a few minutes ago with the President of the United States. And by the powers invested in me by Congress and at the direction of the President of the United States, in coordination with the Superintendent and the Commandant of Cadets, I hereby waive the execution of any confinement resulting from any category or lower cadet disciplinary system violation. You are now free. Amnesty is imposed. Amnesty for all confinement and restriction applies to any violation that occurred during the academic year or not, and beginning at today's ceremony. So you're all free. But I caution you, that's a one-time thing. And those standards and values were forged, as you know, in the crucible of wars that just preceded the founding of the Air Force Academy in 19. 54. Our country was, in fact, in the beginning of the Cold War, following the World Wars and the Korean War. Just 40 years prior to the founding of this school, the same amount of time that I've been in uniform, in the summer of 1914, 
a pistol shot in Sarajevo cast the world into the cataclysm of deadly global conflict, unleashing destruction on a scale yet unseen by humanity, and setting conditions for a second world war only 20 years later, the bloodiest war in all of recorded history. In fact, between 1914 and 1945, the First and Second World Wars laid waste to countries everywhere, and 150 million people were killed in the most violent three decades ever recorded. To give us a sense of what great power war means, consider that 26,000 U.S. soldiers and Marines were killed in six weeks from October to November of 1918 in the Battle of the Meuse-Argonne in World War I. Consider that 26,000 U.S. troops were killed in the eight weeks from the beaches of Normandy to the fall of Paris. At the same time, 18,000 Americans were killed in the Central Pacific in the Marianas Campaign, where my father served, in the South Pacific, in China, Burma, India, and Italy in that fateful summer of 1944. 58,000 Americans killed in action in the air, at sea, and on land in five theaters of war in only eight weeks. That is the human cost of great power war just 10 years before the birth of this academy. At the end of World War II, the leaders of 1945 designed our current rules-based international global order. And there have been a lot of wars since 1945, each with a significant loss of life. But there has not been a great power war. We are now in the 76th year of the great power peace following World War II. And the structure is under stress. We can see it fraying at the edge. And with history as our guide, we would be wise to lift our gaze from the never-ending urgency of the present and set the conditions for a future that prevents great power war. Right now, we're in a great power competition with China and Russia. And we need to keep it at competition and avoid great power conflict. Each of you are going to play an important role in keeping the peace. You can expect to be at the edge many, many times, to make hard choices with imperfect information. But you're going to have to keep your guard up against the enduring nature of evolving security challenges. Each and every one of you are going to be fundamental to our nation's defense in the years to come. And it will be you that leads our country safely through the next 20 years. And you are well equipped to meet these challenges. You are graduates of an institution that has instilled integrity first and service before self and excellence in all you do. You follow the Academy's honor code. You have gathered information on Terrazzo and each September to observe the next of kin memorial for your classmates and alumni who are no longer with us. Countless times you've passed the memorial wall where 186 names are inscribed, the names of Academy graduates who sacrificed their lives in defense of this nation. This is the essence of the long blue line. You are connected to them, to each other, and to all who have come before you and all who will follow you. Your willingness and readiness to serve and to sacrifice when called upon. When America has faced dark days and challenging times, it's always been Air Force Academy graduates that have stood ready to answer the call. For nearly two continuous decades, our country has fought terrorism in the Middle East and elsewhere. 22 Academy graduates have sacrificed their lives in the cause to defend America. This fundamental principle 
selfless service has propelled this institution to uncharted territories and to new frontiers. On May 28, 1980, the same time I was commissioned, 97 women made history as the first female graduates of the United States Air Force Academy. And since then, over 6,300 women have graduated from this school. And today, we add 288 more. And as an example of the character that this academy produces, we need look no further than Lieutenant Leroy Homer. He tossed his hat up here in Falcon Stadium on May 27, 1987, one year after your superintendent graduated. Leroy Homer grew up in Long Island where he dreamed of becoming a pilot. He flew combat support missions in the Gulf War and in Somalia. And after his time in active duty, he served as an academy liaison officer and as a reservist while he continued his career in aviation with United Airlines. As the co-pilot of United Flight 93, Captain Jason Dahl and First Officer Homer, almost 20 years ago, took off at 0842 in the morning from Newark Airport en route to San Francisco. Just as Flight 93 stabilized at cruising altitude, both the North and South Towers of the World Trade Center had been struck. Shortly thereafter, another plane impacted the Pentagon at 9.37. And it was during these exact moments that Leroy Homer, along with 30 passengers and six other crew members, came together and fought to seize control of their aircraft from four terrorist hijackers. Realizing they would not be able to make their intended target, widely believed to have been the White House or the U.S. Capitol, the terrorists drove Flight 93 into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The innocent ranged in age from 20 to 79 years old. Leroy was just 36 years old. Flight 93 was the only hijacked aircraft that was able to transmit a Mayday call that day. And on the cockpit recorder, one voice is heard, clear and steady, directing, get back, get out of here, as he yelled to the terrorists. This voice was identified as Leroy Homer. Disregarding his own safety, he did everything in his power to protect the aircraft for the sake of the passengers. Service before self. Look back and see the pioneers who came before you and study them, because no less is going to be asked of you. Revolutionary change is going to occur while you are in service. And right now, right now at this very moment, right now as you sit here in Colorado Springs, a fundamental change in the character of war is underway. But this has happened before with your class exemplar, Robbie Reisner, himself experienced such revolutionary change. He was born in 1925, after the United States learned the painful lessons of World War I, where we faced machine guns with horse-mounted cavalry, and we suffered losses and tolls of un unspoken viciousness in trench warfare. Just two decades later, the training, weapons, tactics, and the doctrine of war were transformed. And gone were the days of trench warfare. A young Robbie Reisner earned his wings in 1944 and flew over 100 missions in Korea, shot down in Vietnam, and, as already mentioned, endured the horrible pain of being a prisoner of war for seven years, four months, and 27 days. After his return from Vietnam, he flew the F-111. This plane could travel at a speed of 1,650 miles an hour, four times as fast as the plane he had flown as a student pilot, the P-40, which clocked in at a top speed of only 360 miles an hour. In Reisner's 30-year career, planes had become so fast 
They broke the sound barrier. In his lifetime, we went from running bayonets across fields in Europe to a world that looked unrecognizable by the time of his retirement in 1973. In that half century, we witnessed the development of the airplane as a weapon of war, connected by wireless communications of the radio. We fielded the radar and introduced mechanized vehicles and jets and precision munitions and, of course, nuclear weapons. But Reisner had one thing that you will not have, and that is time. You will likely have very little time to correct the mistakes that my generation has made. You're not going to have any time to evolve and adapt to defeat our enemies. We live in an age of technological development, scale, and scope, unlike what Reisner saw. You live in an age of artificial intelligence, robotics, human engineering, hypersonics, long-range precision fires, where we can now see and strike targets at ranges that have never existed before in human history. And the country that masters these technologies combines them with doctrine and develops the leadership to take advantage of it. The side that does that best is going to have a decisive advantage at the start of the next war. And it's your challenge to be that side. You will lead us as a nation, not just as an Air Force or a Space Force. 20 years from now, in 2041, many of you are going to be at the helm of our joint force as colonels and brigadier generals. 40 years from now, in 2061, one of you is going to be the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. One of you will be Chief of Staff of the Air Force. But don't wait. Don't wait until then to be bold. Innovate now. Challenge yourselves to meet the threats that loom on a faraway horizon. And remember to be vigilant. Always be ready. Always be ready to deter a great power war and maintain the great power of peace. And you do that by being prepared to win. To quote our first President George Washington, to be prepared for war is the best way of preserving the peace. Deterrence is tied to real capability. There is no Memorex in deterrence. It has to be real. When your enemy calculates that the cost of military aggression exceeds the benefit, then the deterrence will be established. And you, the members of the Air Force, the members of the Space Force, are going to be key to our nation's deterrence. In addition to your innovation, your skill, your readiness, your competence, the real military capability that you're going to develop, you're also going to need something else. You're going to need incredible character in order to deter, and if deterrence fails, in order to win. And for this, look no further than your oath. Your oath that you're about to take is your North Star. It's your center line. It is that which you must attach to when you're the prisoner of war for seven years. It's that you must attach to when the wounded are around you and screaming in pain at the middle of the night. It's your oath that keeps you grounded. Last night, you all swore an oath, and today you'll do that again, to protect an idea for which you are willing to suffer grievous wounds, to separate from your family and for unknown periods of time, to be tortured, and if necessary, to die. 186 Air Force Academy graduates, brothers and sisters in the long blue line, have done just that. They sacrificed all of their tomorrows for our todays. They laid their last full measure of devotion on the altar of freedom to protect the values enshrined in our Constitution. First Lieutenant Rosalind Schulte, class of 2008, on the roads of Kabul when her convoy was struck by an IED. Captain Matthew Rowland, class of 2010, in an ambush approaching Camp Antonik, Afghanistan. Captain Tyler Voss and Captain Tory Pickney, class of 2008, classmates in fact, in the foothills of Kyrgyzstan when their KC-135 crashed. 
these brave men and women and many others who came before them, along with your oath, is the foundation of this school's legacy and the foundation of your future. You know, there's over 190 countries in the world that are in the United Nations. But it is we, the United States, we are the only one to have a military that swears an oath to an idea, an idea contained in a document. We don't swear an oath to a king, a queen, a tyrant, or a dictator. We don't swear an oath to a person, a tribe, a religion. No. We swear an oath to an idea. And if there's one message you remember from today, it's the message of your oath, the message for what we stand for, the message of why we fight. And embedded within the documents that we call the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence is the idea, the idea that is America. We came into being some 240 years ago, and we were imperfect, and we still are. But it says right in the beginning of the Constitution, in order to form a more perfect union. And this idea in our Constitution and our Declaration of Independence is simple, but incredibly powerful. It's so powerful that the Nazis were deathly afraid of it. The Communists feared it. The Soviet Union collapsed because of it. We defeated Imperial Japan because of it. The fascists in Italy and the terrorists of Al-Qaeda and ISIS, they hate it. They hate this idea. So what is this powerful idea? Well, look around you right now, and you can see the idea. You see the idea on the field. Just look to your left and to your right. And the idea is that every single one of you, it doesn't matter if you're male or you're female. It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight or transgender or something in between. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're white or black, Asian, or Indian. It doesn't matter the color of your skin or what your ethnic group is. It doesn't matter if you're Catholic or you're Protestant, Muslim, Jew, or choose not to believe at all. None of that matters. It doesn't matter what your country of origin is or the spelling of your last name. None of that matters either. It doesn't matter if you're tall or short, rich or poor, famous or common. The idea that's in this document, the idea for which you are willing to die, the idea that's in this Constitution that's propelled us through our darkest days as a nation, all it says is that in this country, in these United States, under those colors of red, white, and blue, no matter who you are, every single one of us is an American, and every single one of us is born free and equal. And in this country, in your country, and in my country, you're going to rise or fall based on your knowledge, your skills, and your attributes. And you're going to be judged by the content of your character not the color of your skin. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and all women are created equal, and they are endowed by the Creator with certain inalienable rights, and among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that is why, that is why this country exists. That is why we as a people are here. That is why I wear the uniform. That is why you are being commissioned. That is what you are committing yourself to. That is what you are all about. That is what guided Robbie Reisner through the vastness of the skies. That's what guided Leroy Homer and every other American who has sacrificed their last breath for this idea to survive. It is now for you to take that torch to protect and defend the idea that is America and the idea for which you will fight. Graduates, we are all proud of you. You have difficult tasks and a heavy load in front of you, but may God bless you Congratulations to you and your family, and God bless the United States of America.
ladies and gentlemen, the cadet class president for 2021, cadet first class, Matthew Vidikin. This summer, cadet wing commander, cadet first class, Rosalind Rotello. The fall cadet wing commander, cadet first class, Aramis Brown. And the spring cadet wing commander, cadet first class, Emily Barexa will now present the class gifts to the chairman. General Milley, for your dedicated service to our nation, to the United States Air Force, and to the United States Air Force Academy, it is with great pride that today's graduating class designates you, by acclamation, an honorary member of the United States Air Force Academy's class of 2021. Go Air Force, the Army. As tangible evidence of that honor, we ask that you accept this painting by Rick Broom on behalf of the United States Air Force Academy. We also present you with our class coin as a token of our appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Carpenter from the Superintendent's Leadership Endowment Board will present the Distinguished American Award. General Milley, thank you for sharing your words of encouragement and wisdom for, to all of us, along with the graduating class of 2021. On behalf of the Superintendent's Leadership Endowment, I want to thank you for your service and present you with the Distinguished American Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Brigadier General Linnell Latundra, the Dean of the Faculty. Thank you. General Milley, before presenting the entire graduating class to you, I would like to highlight a few individuals for special recognition. First, I call your attention to the 109 distinguished graduates who are listed at the top of your program. These cadets, by their overall performance, have placed in the top 10% of their class and have demonstrated excellence in accomplishing the academic, military, and athletic requirements for graduation. If we observe the custom of academic honors, each would be graduating either summum cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude. Instead, we use the term distinguished graduates 
more fitting in its promise of distinguished service to our nation. At this time, will the distinguished graduates of the Brigadier General James Robinson Robbie Reisner class please rise to be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Those identified in your program with an S beside their name are cadets graduating from the Academy Scholar Distinction, having completed a challenging academic enrichment path through the four-year core curriculum. We would also like to recognize those cadets who have placed in the top 10% of our academic military and athletic programs. Identified in your program with a star by their name are those cadets graduating with academic distinction. Those identified with a wreath beside their names are cadets graduating with military distinction. And those identified with a lightning bolt beside their names are cadets graduating with athletic distinction. Those 11 exceptional cadets with all three distinctions are identified with a star within a wreath resting on two lightning bolts. And I would like you to please stand as I call your name. Campbell Mandela Anderson. Caleb Michael McCann. Zachary Fisher Kennison. Robert Bartholomew Gansro, Jessica Ann Byer, Matthew Robert Camille, Spencer James Flint, Winifred Shu Chen, Spencer William Rowling. Alicia Lee Alexander, Maria Christina Lysing. In conclusion, you may be seated. In conclusion, a total of 1,019 Air Force Academy graduates in this year's class have completed all graduation requirements. We are also pleased to have in the class of 2021, 15 international students representing the nations of Cameroon, Georgia, Macedonia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Mexico, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Romania, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand, and Tunisia. Will all of our international students please stand and be recognized. Thank you, and you may be seated. And sir, it gives me great pleasure to present to you, General Milley, the United States Air Force Academy Brigadier General James Robinson Robbie Reisner, Class of 2021, and recommend each as worthy of a Bachelor of Science degree. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Arthur W. Primus, Jr., Director of Admissions, 
and Dr. Harold A. Taylor, Associate Dean for Student Academic Affairs and Academy Registrar, will now present the diplomas to the graduating class of 2021. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff will present each graduate with his coin. Ladies and gentlemen, General Mark A. Milley, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, joins us on stage to congratulate each of the graduates of the Class of 2021. Will the distinguished graduates please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas? The class of 2021's number one cadet in overall performance, Campbell Mandela Anderson. Caleb Michael McCann. The class of 2021's number one cadet in military performance, Aramis Christian Brown. Emily Catherine Berexa. Zachary Fisher Kennison. The class of 2021's number one cadet in academic performance, Robert Bartholomew Gansro. Jessica Ann Beyer. Matthew Robert Camille. Caitlin Marie Benton. Caleb Daniel Overby. Christopher Ross Patterson. Dustin Wayne Alt. Jacqueline Elise Mace. Madeline May Riker. Spencer James Flint. Winifred Shu Chin. The class of 2021's number one cadet in athletic performance, Spencer William Rowing. <laughs> Megan Clara Cordone. Cameron Ashley Gustell. Jackson Richard Ayers. Anthony Joseph Lieto III. John Thomas Ursino. Alicia Lee Alexander. Mora Jane Casey. Bria Nashe Gradine. Lindsay Claire Lachardi. Brooke Ann Schumacher. Thomas Malcolm Heisler. Mark Allen Watson. Jeremiah Paul Harp. Kylie Joanna Stronko. 
Anthony Alix Jocks. Abigail Catherine Crozier. Maria Christina Lysing. Michael Evan Leonard. Anna Marie Holder. Alexander James Presley. Dylan Jameson Alexander. Harley Patrick Morgan. Jason Daniel Schultz. Nicolette Leanne Clark. Dallas Lee Allison. Brian Samuel Washak. Richard Patrick Miles. Alexander Joseph Miller. Brendan Thomas Reese. Scott Andrew Johnson. Thomas Anthony O'Brien. Sean Michael McKendry. Tatiana Chanel Ingram. Jordan Eric Maldonado. Reagan Alexa Horn. Ann Alice Alquist. Preston Hunter Seminuk. Ryan Joseph Schneider. Noah Benjamin Jensen. Jessica Blaze Kirkpatrick. Dylan Charles Drummer. Riley Jean Holt. Jeffrey Paul Fadlovich. Rachel Juhe Jung. Holden Patrick Rushing. Jonathan Parker Nash. Joshua Lawrence Budig. Abigail Ann Aristides. Samantha Shaleen Herman. Amanda Nicole Beach. Benjamin Charles De Ruggiero. Jordan Jonathan Brown. Connor Robert Settle. Cole Tucker Armagas. Logan Joseph Falco. Ruby Paige McCain. Daniel Jude Sheeman. Andrew James Valentino. Patrick Michael Dillon. Connor Allen Neal. Stephen Chase Lang. Ava Cecilia Swearingen. Rye Gunner Julson. 
Miranda Nicole Ehlers. David Peter Collard. Benjamin Busca Howard. Alyssa Bailey Tamburo. Thomas Francis Galagani III. Zachary Joseph Lorch. Sarah Lynn Massenter. Kenneth Clay Brownell. Adam Wade Berry. Robert Wade O'Connor. Noah David Cohen. Danielle Penina Katz. Cameron Darcy Christensen. Jacob Andrew Margraff. Rebecca Marie Joy. Andrew Dawson Kreitz. Samantha Ann Summers. Jonathan Logan Gabriel. Eric Charles Orr. Kathleen Elizabeth Medell. Hannah Marie Milliman. Brittany Ann Mahowald. Emily Marie Conroe. Mitchell Stone Light. Ryan Thomas Ruley. Gabrielle Aretha Topacio. Aaron Lynn Cope. Michael Anthony Colasar. Tweethin Pham. Ladies and gentlemen, joining General Milley on stage, to your left, Mr. John Roth, Acting Secretary of the Air Force, and to your right, General John Raymond, Chief of Space Operations. Will the remainder of the graduates of 2021 please come forward by squadron to receive your diplomas. Cadet Squadron One, Drayana Shante Anthony. Andrew Almost Benishek. Samuel Jesse Butler. Jacob Andrew Carson. Cameron Tyler 
Conrad. Sierra Jesse Crawford. James John Ping Duffy. Josiah Gary Goosen. Maxwell Michael Harper. Zachary Stephen Hunt. Charles Patrick O'Brien. Tyler Ford Owens. Elizabeth K. Patterson. Olivia Chantal Pease. Benjamin Lawrence Peterson. Alec Benjamin Schrank. Gunnar Thomaseb Schultz. Jesse Singh Sadu. Kurt Robert Thomas. Jelani Rashad Washington. Cadet Squadron 2. Kylie Ann Applegate. John David Ayers. Luke Aaron Bohenick. Brianna Mirai Carter. Lucas Robert Castro. Sterling Joseph Sheshker. Jordan Alexis Daniels. Kira Ann Duenas. Sean Robert Freeman. Hunter Nelson Hagestad. Paul Roger Hendricks. Shannon Nicole Hockman. David Patrick Jones. Katerina Maria Kowar. Daniel Ray Canelli. Colin Everett Lilia. Griffin Timothy Line. Daryl Franklin Miller. Muhammad Salahin bin Mod Sabri. Vernon Alec Nazarino. Min Jung Park. Alexandra Caitlin Premack. Neil Patrick Reynolds. Aiden Michael Sams. Varin Eximignano Sai. David Antonio Villarreal. Richard Frederick Worthy. Cadet Squadron 3. Caitlin Rose Balky. Kay Lynn Chang. Jacob Connor Kroll. Matthew Alexander Cuoco. Alexandra Marie Duchesne. Charles Thomas Galloway, Jr. Mariah Grant. David Henry Howe. Ethan Lane Isaacson. Ryan Christopher Johnston. Andrew Mark Lester. Kowlin K. Yao Mele Mele Medieros. Alexander Jacob Nichols. Prince Paul Njoku. Elisha Aquite Palm. Raymond Wesley Punzalan. Connor Fitzgerald Shaw. Matthew John Steiner. Jonathan Corbett Thomas. Jackson Vance Trent. 
Matthew James Vidican. Christina Ann Yoon. Cadet Squadron Four. Justin Thomas Betchy. Reese Alexander Cook. Channing Dwayne Davis. Bryn Elaine Fury. Parker Noah Ferguson. Oscar Nicholas Ferrara Hedman. Henry James Gilchrist. Maximilian Eric Griffith. Christopher Jehoon Kim. Trisha Marie King. Kyle Matthew Latsky. Dominique Sadie Therese Leano. Mohammed Ali Milley. Kyle Joseph Partman. Kit Allen Regier. Julio Cesar Rosales. Skyler Marie Rose. Russell Franklin Seymour. Jack Charles Vandervoort. John George Wagner III. William Andrew Yingst. Cadet Squadron 5. Eric David Bourne. Eric Ryan Klingenpeel. Jackson Scott Cole. Peter Dobrovolsky. Patrick Donald Gabriel. Alexandra Maria Giggy. Hayden Jones Grant. William Edward Irons IV. Kevin Sven Johnson. Stephen Zachary Kimatian. Matthew Mark Kopp. Aaron Thomas Peasley. Caleb Wesley Richardson. Hannah Claire Schroeder. George Philip Silvanic. Shana Darlene Smith. Maxwell Tyler Soule. Cody David Sparrow. Jacob Richard Taylor. Bell Tomei Tony. Micah Kuwailili Venata. Cadet Squadron 6. Kareem Mohammed Ahmed. Shema Ben Mabruk. Jade Danielle Bradshaw. Kaylin Michael Brown. Gabrielle Angelique Calvo. Casey Ryan Cooper. Lori Sakura Coyne. Anthony Joseph De Caesar. Benjamin Daniel Gomez. Connor Gates Grant. Andrew Jordan Grove. Eric Braxton Harbin. Andrew Justin Hoffman. Zechariah Alexander Larock. Peter Eufarn Lou. Michaela Michelle McFalls. Matthew Patterson Morris. Alex Michael Ramsberger. Grace Marie Robinson. Justin Leo Schooley. 
Alexis Jewel Shirley. Damar Maurice Sims. Thomas Mark Steger. R Ryan Martin Van Riper. Xavier Elliot Vega. Zachary Dale Weesey. Cadet Squadron 7. Kelby Wayne Bailey. Spencer Engelhart Brown. Molly Elizabeth Bushelman. Cole Allen Crisp. Chandler Wyeth Devaney. Raylan Star Fatwai. Shannon Grace Guy. Elena Rianne Hall. Nicholas Grant Hauser. Alexander Sam Ivanoff. Jonathan Matthew Hunko. Joel Thomas Krause. Louis J. Lee. Trent Alexander Liches. Diverse Hershed Mode. Tynesha Andre Spencer. Lawrence James Spicer. Cody Lauren Surratt. Auburn Elise Suttles. Elise Carol Ann Walrath. Ethan Alexander Wintler. Cadet Squadron 8, Mustafa Omobalaji Adekunle. Leonard Robert Bowen. Hunter William Boyer. Maximilian King Carson. Grant Michael Donaldson. Beck Theodore Fosberg. Harold Wayne Henderson, Jr. Jacob Andrew Hughes. Andrew Robert Lemke. Colin John Henry Maloney. Connor Patrick McCormick. Savannah Cherie Promise Minkin. Tara Ariane Moore. Nathan Hasuk O. Durkin Joseph Ross. Orel Yannick Sappho Conlack. Jacob Michael Squatier. Timothy Lewis Stevens. Bryn Parker Salt. Alyssa Marie Till. Benjamin Kirk Ward. Alec Roger Watson. Cadet Squadron 9. Seth Xavier Allen. Joshua Gordon Barricklow. Austin Jeffrey Covalin. Michael James Chasen. Brooke Ann Chilton. Scott Pearson Colbreth. Zachary Alvin Flash. Noor Kalka Khan. Nathaniel Jeffrey Kreiser. Nolan Douglas Laufenberg. Nathan Niels Lervold. Zeke Anthony Mammon. Joe Abram Martinez III. Grace Estelle Metzger. Mackenzie Jane Nekanicki. Trenton Alessandra Oyland. Braden Hunter Parks. Alexander Gerard Ponche. Noah 
Mingda Shu. Abigail Ruthanna Weaver. William Lewis Winstead IV. Jack Anthony Zucker. Cadet Squadron 10. Christopher David Arce. Harrison Tate Booth. Thank you, sir. John Patrick Burns. Morgan James Cisna. Hannah Marie Compton. Christian Larrabee Gambali. Christopher Pierce Goldtrap. Riley Chase Graves. Cassidy Paige Huffman. Kaylin McKenzie Immel. Seamus Gabriel Keen. Thomas James Coons. James Michael Lambert. Ariona Lily Mayo. Raymond Warren Metzger. Brianna Kaylin Norris. Mason Michael Nutter. Matthew Lake O'Rourke. Thomas Miller Palladino. Andrew Storm Perry. Lindsay Elon Powley. Veda Ann Reed. Manuel John Riolo. Pierce Austin Reisinger. Matthew Chun Rerig. Angelica Catherine Schumacher. Sadie Ellen Wilson. Oh, stand. Joining General Milley on stage is the official party. Cadet Squadron 11, Nicole Emmeline Agob, Mark Christian Anarumo Jr. Ethan Nicholas Alciums. Kennedy Noel Beal. Joel Bernal. Isaac Paul Coolidge. Olivia Rose Critala. Colin Jarrett Davidson. Cameron Elizabeth Deems. Gage Tanner Flaming. Andrew Harrison Helms. William Scott Johnson. Trey Elijah LaRock. Elizabeth V. Wynn. Caleb 
Domingo Nunez. Adam James Peck. Richard Joseph Peterson. Peyton Rain Plummer. Matthew John Polzin. Caden Dale Remsburg. Mark Andrew Shell. Eric Russell Wunsch. Cadet Squadron 12. John Daniel Alexander II. Matthew Quinn Barron. Corbin James Blanchard. Nathaniel Kinian Bowen. Joseph David Castro. Lance Taylor Chapman. Christopher Michael Collins. Sierra Nicole DeHart. Kaala Aki Opono, Erica Ann Akiko Faro. Patrick Joseph Gorman. Matthew Michael Hageman. Campbell Patton Harris. Jason James Hires. Keaton Thomas Hike. Teresa Marie Kozak. Sarah Dawn Leslie. Philip Ryan Mott. Leonard Charles Peterson. Kestrel Munguan Pond. Megan Teresa Rab. Ethan Porter Richards. Jidiwat Sir Springpong. Maxwell Ford Stangle. Brian Glane Swicegood. William Dean Trawick. Michael Aaron Weatherford. Alec Sebastian Young. Paul Gregory Zelinsky. Cadet Squadron 13. Cameron Colleen Barber. Caleb Andrew Boone. Cody William Brophy. Kevin Emmanuel Cruz. Jody Lynn Dalton. William Thomas DeRocher. Caitlin Nicole Ehrlich. Kaylin Renee Foster. Kyle Weston Grushka. Richard Matthew Haywood. Meredith Glennis Jones. Matthew Thomas Needler. Alexander James LaRue. Thanks, sir. Elena Luis Lucius. Daniel Christopher Mecca. Roman Tristan Filson. Martin Eliel Ramirez Perez. Rachel Joy Riley. Noah Ford Schwab. Brandon Michael Stewart. Cade Jobin Sundball. Austin James Upton. John Mark Zaccaro. Cadet Squadron 14, Jimmy Kirk Cummings. William J. Decker. Antonino Michele De Rosa. Calvin Cannon Dixon Jr. Bennett A. Drummond. Marcos Miller Ferreira. Charlotte Foden Wenzel. Connor Ryan George. Cleopatra Clarice Lee Jackson. Tanner Glenn Johnson. 
Matthew Harrison Jones. Il Jung Kim. Rodney Christopher McCoy. Luke Edmund Miller. Terrence Aaron Perkins. Rosalind Joy Rotello. Elizabeth Christine Ryan. Liam Sirota. Parker Adam Symington. Eric Samuel Turnquist. Kirsten Marie Winfrey. John Parker Yeager. Luca Adrian Zeitvogel. Cadet Squadron 15. Natalie Taruco Augusto Sangino. Sarah May Bodmer. Jed Patey Cutter. Valentino Andreas Mateo Espinoza Jr. Gabriel Daniel Fells. Daniel Timothy Flynn. Jacqueline Isabella Girardin. Gega Kavtazi. Ryan Thomas Klein. Zivko Kovleski. Akshay Kumar. Wyatt Robert Lake. Cameron Sage Mathis. Cade Reeves McClanahan. Mahala Naomi Merland Norris. Wyatt Anthony Perry. Brady Keith Reinhardt. Adrian Terrell Robinson Jr. Brandon Adam Smith. Austin Mitchell Valencia Bowler. Cadet Squadron 16. Ethan Michael Albrecht. Michael James Bautista. Brooke Michelle Bruder. Ryan Patrick Clancy. Ariana Nicole Clemente Hunter. Seth Allen D'Alessandris. Cabell Hawthorne McNeil Early. Randy Falk, Jr. Michael Jacob Greisman. Connor Blake Loftus. Daniel Wu Lupro. Allison Nicole McGrath. Matthew Willem Mickey. Cameron Joseph McLett. Rebecca Grace Miller. Isaac Joseph Perkins. Natalie Grace Sieber. James Perry Weaver V. Cadet Squadron 17. Sophia Cordelia Bynum. Nicholas Alexander Curtis. Zachary Christopher Dickin. Braden Todd Esplin. Mitchell Kamen Fowler. Jasmine Larissa Joy Garza. Damani Jerome Hansford. Shirley Howe. Regan Bethany Harrison. Mario Lewis Castle. Catherine Gunn Coons. Peter Jeffrey Lockmeyer. Vincent John Lombardi. 
Matthew Michael Mark. Kenneth Ryan McKnight. Fenton Tokuichi Nukata. Alexis Alina Victoria Springfield. Joshua Douglas Stoner. William Patrick Ulrich. Alexander Harmon Wise. Cadet Squadron 18, Ethan Daniel Adams. Elena Rose Catalo. Matthew Elton Don. Jacob Clark DeLang. Lillian Victoria Hess. Imari Hill. Jillian Camille Jamero. Nukai Marcus Lake. Ada Lantigua. Clay Michael Madsen. Scott Thomas McMurray. Lauren Claire Miller. Jamie Elizabeth Mao. Matthew McNeely Merla. Alexander James Pack. Eric Michael Potoski. Joshua Mason Sayers. Michael Gray Shoemate. Joseph Edward Slodick III. Tyler Wayne Stewart. Addison McKenzie Tony. Jacoby Allen Ward. Cadet Squadron 19, Addison Paul Brown. Ryan Daniel Clendenning. Orland Ethan Esval. Christian Constantine Hanchuch. Andrew Mark Harris. Annalise Nicole Holland. Eric Robert Kazmerowitz. Vito James Marchino. Francisco John Martinez. Alec Dylan McGehee. Zachary James Miragas. Adam John Morris. Colby Celeste. Mortensen, Lauren Grace Nielsen, Parker Haynes Norin, Matthew Joseph Olson, Joshua Jonathan David Price, Camilla Valentina Quintero Hilsaka, Faith Nicole Van Havel. Sarah Elizabeth Whitley. Joshua David Williamson. Edgar LaFabian Woods II. Nathaniel Jong Hong Yu. Cadet Squadron 20. Eric William Anderson. Michael. James Armijo II. Benjamin Karras Brooks. Brandon Thomas Bazoski. Benjamin David Calhoun. Jonathan Robert Cassoni. James Patrick Edwards. Carson Robert Fetting. Zachary Taylor Gabert. Matthew Garner Good. Matthew Robert Hanlon. 
Lynn Mayher Jad. Xavier Akira Kirksey. Mai Emily Lee. John Armstrong Lyons. Tobin Daniel Mills. Colton Dean Mitchell. Matthew Russell Morales. Luke Tyler Ostrander. Jacob Abraham Rice. Mackenzie Danielle Robertson. Kyle Robert Roshong. Luke Hu Ruan. Wendy Yaneth Samayoa. Stephen Haley Scott III. Adelaide Lindsay Smallage. Jenna Alina Wisner. Cadet Squadron 21, Michael Thomas Baldinger, Michael Gerard Beverly, Benjamin Reed Bollinger, Amelia Sophia Butler, Mia Emmanuel Soriano Shaban. John Martin Hayes. William Harrison Kern. Muhammad Shahrukh Khan. Alexandra Sarah King. Dakota Wayne Lancaster. Andrew Joseph Langston. Matthew Daniel Mannion. Michelle Trangan Wynn. Logan Grant Omer. Megan Brooke Polinowski. Joshua Ray Schoolcraft. William Russell Sellers. Griffin Dorsey Smith. Caleb Alaki Su Hu. Maximilian Xavier Stolly. Joshua Bono Baden. Cadet Squadron 22. Thomas Carroll Chandler. Cruz Diego Chavez. Tyler Teresa Davis. Ryder Troy Driggs. Jared Walker Erickson. Kavindu Gimhana Jayarwardana. Joseph Kangsan Kim. Jenna Elise Cooperberg. Brody Christian Lambert. Aaron Elizabeth Leslie. Nicholas Alexander Muse. Jonathan Robert Petrie. Seamus Kennedy Phelan. Alexandria Melan Pruitt. Sierra Nicole Rains. Brendan Joseph Rikiki. Annie Joe Rudder. Winston Reb St. Luke. Nathan James Thompson. Remington Anthony Bale. Gage Kane Weil. Darren James One. Cadet Squadron 23. Adam Wojcik Bioric. 
Justin Wilson Blasius. Colton Charles Blatchford. Alexander William Cooper. Pietro Sproviero de Pauli. Isabel Olivia Eicher. Isaac Christopher Deerham Finley. Autumn Michelle Gonzalez. Aaliyah Jules Harris. Ryan Edward Jones. Colin John Canelli. Christian David Kewen. Caden Anders Culp. Jacob Nathaniel Larson. Casey Nicole Ludwig. Kelly Lee Motes. Gianni Rafael Orlando. Armani Ethan Resto. Emily Ann Rickman. Isaiah Tucker Sampson. Megan Caitlin Sanford. Benjamin Morgan Settle. Jeffrey Keith Sylvan. Ethan Kobe Truman. Jared Dean Wortham. Cadet Squadron 24, Nathan Shaw Abramoff. Natalie Ann Alpin. Carolee Alexis Berger. Olivia Nicole Bonner. Mitchell James Brunke. Nathan Lee Cundiff. Brevin Ingelson. Christian Thomas Flannery. Taylor Lauren Fritz. Jennifer Marie Gallagher. Martin Charles James Huffman. Devin Abra Jones. Casey Rex Jumps. Bradley Kakoa Kim. Appalock Kongsambunvich. Brian Thomas Krupp. Olivia Rose Lane. Lindley Nicole Manis. Eliza Jane McCarthy. Over on Coltrane, Wyquan Peter. Sierra Bennett Salerni. Gregory Duane Skagi. Franklin Josue Solorzano Suarez. Luke Austin St. Pierre. Cole James Trimble. Addison Robert Whitney. Cadet Squadron 25. Tessa Joy Barbosa. Donna Rose Bohr. Jordan Alexander Brown. John Paul Byrne. Chloe Simone Camello. William Peter Flaherty. Jonathan Reuben Gill. Beth Ann Gordon. Rhett Christian Harms. Jonathan Riley Hedgepath. Aaron Tyler Hike. Peter Keaton Keller. Sean Michael Knowlton. Harper John Lee. Robert Scott Lewis. Morgan Alexander McDonald. Mary L. Maestrovich. Madeline Jane Pouch. Quentin Walker Riddle. Aubrey Renee Ridgeway. 
Marcus Andrew Ross. Luke Francois Scott. Elizabeth Haley Schaefer. Kyle Jacob Spencer. Franklin Noel Valentin Jr. Cadet Squadron 26. Charles Ryan Boyette. Olga Maya Budke. Jordan Elizabeth DeGary. Shannon Mary Gray. Jack Douglas Hadley. Joseph Domingo Hinsley. Jared Jacob Hodges. Benjamin James Hoffner. Eric Gabriel Jensen. Benjamin James Lesko. Jacob Keith Levin. Anna Magdalena Logrande. Jace Aquila Miller. Emma Grace Nelson. Orion Raquel Rogers. James Thomas Rutledge Gorman. Rishi Rakesh Sanath. Calvin Rogelio Smith. Catherine Elizabeth Sobis. Conrad James Steck. Nathan Samuel Stiles. Samuel Charles Yagoda. Cadet Squadron 27. Dane Joseph Brodigam. Charles McCullough Burns. Bridget Morgan Calvert. Cole Thomas Surgeon. Itzel Sinai Chan Topetti. Tyler Jared Dunn. Trent Jacob Gangler. Hannah Lee Nava Harjono. Stephen Timothy Harold. Ashley Bryn Harvey. Philip Joseph Hawthorne. Bailey Weldon Hopkins. Stephen Matthew Kelly. Connor Christian Kirkgaard. Michael James Matarazzo. Michael James Matheson. Cole Michael Muti. Alexander Ho Wong Nguyen. Braden West Price. Sharina Beth Staten. Elena Maria Tallman. Ryan Jackson Underland. Austin Cheney Williams. Cadet Squadron 28. Zachary Paul Allen. Joshua Michael Block. Matthew Thomas Burns. Joseph Camilo Canoy. Catherine Beck Cavanaugh. Matthew James Cooper. David Jonathan Evans. Morgan Grace Hicks. Kyle Montgomery Kreps. Carson Noel Crone. Matthew Evan Lewis. Lorena Isabel Longoria. Thomas Jeffrey McCurdy. Emily Grace Munn. Cameron Merle Olhausen. Peter Sang Park. Callista Riley Torbinson. Cole Hayden Turner. 
Brandon Michael DeFazio Williams. Keith DeAndre Williams. Cadet Squadron 29. Shadrin Paul Abaya Andres. James Kevin Burke Jr. Mackenzie Rebecca Clay. Eamon Michael Fitzpatrick. Thomas Jack Haskell. Natalie Marie Hawley. Benjamin Patrick Kazulis. Serena Sung Un Kim. Nicholas Michael Krupe. Patrick William Mahoney. Andrew Neil McNay. Garrett Masao Miyaoka. Susanna Marie Noble. Julie Ann Padilla. Saideep Gudum Reddy. Heidi Lynn Sand. Ian Dominic Sarazen. Lance Alexander White. Andrea Nicole Weeman. Alexander Joseph Winshell. Kevin Michael Woods II. Thomas Andrew Zamatero. Cadet Squadron 30. Adiola Daniel Adiboyejo. Anthony Adi Ajayo. Christian Scott Barrett. Jason Patrick Brenholt. Timothy William Bird. Todd Christian Campo. Samuel Gunwoo Cho. Tyler Wesley Friend. Tyler James Gerchek. Bryce Dean Hughes. Audra Margaret Jensen. Reese Eric Maiden. Lisa Kimberly Oswald. Gabriel John Otley. Ian Nathaniel Peterson. Aiden Sandhu. Gabriel Joseph Silva. Charles Francis Stevens. Alexander David Tarbet. Rhiannon Bryn Townsend. Callie Jane Wolfenbarger. Amanda Jane Yount. Cadet Squadron 31, Alexis Danielle Andros, Ulysses Junghee Bach, Sage Nason Belcher, Kiana Catrice Brantley, Cassidy Catherine Canaday, Enrique Damian Castellanos. Leo Alexander Cheshire. Fernando Mario Cortez Sefuentes. Veronica Charlotte Cunningham. Tyler Wayne Daly. Jackie Lynn De Leon. Jonathan Paul Carlos Enriquez. Toby Joseph. Folix. Eric Adam Kedge. Alexander 
Leo Krupp. Kristen Nathaniel Martin. Caleb Thomas Melanoski. Ethan Boyd Morris. Nicholas Ford Parham. Hannah Park. Preston Zachary Polin. Catherine Carson Power. Alexander James Strickland. Franklin Sun. Eric Jefferson Tucker. Keaton Eugene Van Solen. Colin John Wijewaka. Cadet Squadron 32. Brian Shane Augustin. Harry Manentosa Andrian Tabby. Julia Nicole Baldazar. Gregory William Berry. Blaze Thomas Brumfield. Hallie Ann Kane. Luke Chandler Chilcutt. Renee Alexander Calias Gomez. Patrick James Fenton. Cambria Lene Galloway. Bianca Victoria Gondria. Bryce Nathaniel Grayley. Braden Jordan Post. Christopher Songjay Jeon. Keegan Vaughton Kirkman. Joseph James Landis. Amanda Julianne Lyle. Landon Andrew Moore. Omena Chobari Mushali. Elijah Okoe Palm. Samuel Nicholas Pepper. Giovanni Angel Pomales. Fabio Salvioni. Tyler Christopher Ward. Grace Catherine Whiston. Joseph Richard Woodring. Brandon J. Yoon. Cadet Squadron 33. Amika Ambirianu Akaya II. Alexandria Marie Beckett. Ryan Scott Clary. Terrell Trajan Davis. Nicholas Brian DeWolf. Christina Elise Dean. Jeffrey Allen Ditlevson Jr. Caitlin Jolie Elliott. Jacob August Fry. Solomon John Hansen. Brock Stephen Jennings. Brian Jackson Kim. Kayla Celine Lasson. Jack Tunnison Morgan. Hunter Matthew Mishka. Malcolm Alexander Owens. Quincy James Peen. Michael Anthony Robles. Kilea Lee Rogers. Martin Allen Sample. Ian Michael Shepard. Alexandra Claire Sullivan. Nicholas Peter Volpe. Dustin Bruce Wagner. Maya Alexis Young. Cadet Squadron 34. Kaylin Naranjo Baranta. Victoria Francesca Burnaby. Anastasia Borodenko. Thomas James Carmack. 
Trace Cole Dow. Theodore Edward Drews. Derek Daniel Dye. Andrew Justin Ayler. Ryan Christopher Flynn. Maria Gianna Gasparovich. Alexander Vincent Hamilton IV. Jackson Duke Harris. Luke Kiliansky. Ryan Christopher Kirk. Joshua Seth Lambert. Grace Elizabeth Marchant. Oliver Mortimer Powder. Sarah Kate Sawicki. Jacob Henry Steiner. Tanner James Stewart. Nicholas Kendrick Tempe. Chancellor Ferris Wood. Cadet Squadron 35. Olga Vita Buklava. Charles Edward Broad. Christian Henry Burgoyne. Pamela Butanda. Stephanie Hannah Che. Colin Richard Ittinger. Nathan David Fairhurst. Marion Audrey Farah. Anthony Gomez. Cora Jane Gornal. Jeffrey Abraham Lacoste. Samuel Ryan Lee. Michael Jeffrey McCullough. Sergey Allen Shera. Bryce Addison Sell. Alexis Louisa Sherwin. Marshall Peyton Spires. Nathan Thomas Steeren. Kevin Gamalier Vasquez Andahar. Joseph Robert Way. Cadet Squadron 36. Alec Lewis Bader. Nolan Robert Brandt. Christian Kalee Bruce. Victoria Abigail Burns. Brian James Clark. Ryan Gordon D'Antonio. Jasmine Marie Del Valle. Zachary Allen Divers. Nathaniel Robert Dyer. Caleb Thomas Ferguson. Charles William Goss. Jessica Marie Grone. Caitlin Shang Guo. Hunter Michael Herbert. Sarah Ruth Himmelberg. Vance Elliot Holub. Richard Cruz Ibarra III. Adam Evan Jewell. Peyton Don McGuire. Warren Edward Quinlan. Julia Lauren Rochester. Daniel Stewart Sachs. Addison Nicole Smith. Conrad Christopher Zirkel. Luke Javier Zuluaga. Cadet Squadron 37. Matthew Joseph Cahill. Megan Sarah Carbiner. Brian Thomas Clancy. Colin John Dwyer. Zachary John Eiler. Kaylin Rose Harvey. 
Jared Stephen Hassel. Brendan James Hennessy Rose. James Raymond Keating. Logan Michael Kunst. Christopher Mark Minow. Anthony Athanasius McHale. Daniel Thomas Morris. Dhruv Rajev Odedra. Michael Warren Sobchak. Jessica Ray Thomas. Vincent Angelo Montilio Vividelli. Bracey Jamad Webb II. Connor Martin Wizentainer. Cadet Squadron 38. Joseph Andrew Antonino. Lawson Stevens Barrett. Marshall Joseph Bowery. James Anthony Briggs Jr. Sarah Catherine Childs. Jason Allen Coors. Daniel Patrick Gilmartin. Helen Elizabeth Homola. Clarissa Renee Jolly. Kobe Lee Kurtz. Megan Lopez. Wolf Alexander Lucas. Alexander Robert Walter Maynard. Mariah Deanne Murray. Shiv Umesh Patel. William Michael Stover. Cadet Squadron 39. Nassim Bernardo Al Nawasre. Treat Robert Bowie. Jordan Butcher. Tyler Jake Christensen. Jordan Lee Kaufman. Judith Ann Horton. Nikozi Jabari Jones. Dalton Michael Lawrence. Jeremy George Leondiris. Mark Donald McKenzie. Diego Antonio Mendez. Brady Alexander Mall. Emily Grace Norat. Nicholas Thomas Noyan. David Benton Ott. Sarah Francis Patillo. Andrew Joseph Pekka. Carol Marie Ramos Tricoli. Daniel Robert Reinfurt. David Joel Thacker. Kyler Wesley Wedgworth. Jessica Ann Wurzbicki. Cadet Squadron 40. Austin Thomas Amor. Matthew Christopher Anderson. David Anthony Bearden. Carl John Borwinkle. Trace Jordan Corello. Eugene Anthony Chow. Megan Ann Craven. Benjamin Christian Hauser. Sarah Catherine Johnson. Christopher Dean Joyce. Race Jacob Maine. Sokolita Ma'am. Adama Nicholas Mbai. Joseph Anthony Murphy IV. Samantha Michelle Parkhurst. Lauren Michelle Peterson. Cole Robert Phelps. 
Michael Quinn Purcell. Clint Matthew Rossi. Alan Gregory Shadon. Benjamin Andrew Taylor. Georgiana Rafaela Trezano. Christopher Michael Wilson. Wing, 10 shot. Mr. Chairman, thank you for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs will be departing immediately following the Air Force song and dismissal of the Class of 2021. Please rise as Major General Michelle Edmondson, Commandant of Cadets, administers the oath of office for the United States Air Force and Space Force. Graduates of the Brigadier General James Robinson Robbie Reisner class, will you please raise your right hand and after I read the oath, signify your acceptance by saying I do. Do each of you, having been appointed second lieutenant in the United States Air Force and the United States Space Force, solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which you are about to enter, so help you God. Ladies and gentlemen, the Air Force song.
of 2021. Dismiss.
go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Go, Dave! Air Force One! We also have a handful of Air Force Academy graduates. We like that our personal general college. Thank <laughs> you. 